Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Jinkis Math Class! In this video, you will learn how to regroup tens and ones so it will be easier for you later on to subtract numbers with regrouping. And in order for you to regroup with subtraction, you need to understand how to break apart two-digit numbers into different numbers of tens and ones. Let's practice! Let's regroup the tens and the ones in 19. In 19, there's one ten and nine ones. Using the blocks, there's one group of ten and nine extras or nine ones. Now we will group them again by making the value of the ones bigger. So, in order for us to make the value of the ones bigger, we need to regroup the tens first. So if we will transfer one group of ten in the ones place, it will look like this. So the ones now became 19 and the tens became 0. Next example. How about in 23? In 23, there's two tens and three ones. Using the blocks, there's two group of tens and three extras or ones. Now, in order for us to make the value of the ones bigger, we need to regroup the tens. We will transfer one group of ten in the ones. And now, we have how many ones? We have 13 now and one ten. Next, 38. In 38, there's three tens and eight ones. So three groups of tens and eight extras or ones. We'll transfer one group of ten in the ones place. The ones now will become 18 and the tens will become two. Next, 47. 47 has four tens and seven ones. So it means there's four groups of tens and seven extras or ones. You transfer one group of ten in the ones place. So the ones now will become 17 and the tens will become three or three groups of tens. How about in 50? In 50, there's five tens and zero ones. So there's five, it means there's five groups of tens but there's no value for ones. Now, how can we group them again? We will transfer one group of 10 in the ones place, 10, and the tens will become four. So we have four groups of 10 and 10 ones. This time, we will regroup the tens and the ones without using the blocks. In 34, there's three tens and four ones. What should be the number we write in the tens? Yes, two. How about in the ones? The four in the ones will become what? 14. Very good. How about in 25? In 25, there's two tens and five ones. What do you think? is the number that we need to write in the tens place. Correct, one. How about in the ones place? If we will group them again, the five ones will become what? Yes, 15. Good job. In 29, we have two tens and nine ones. What should be the number we will write in the tens? If we will group them again? Yes, one ten. The nine ones will become 19. Let's have 17. In 17, there's one 10 and seven. What should be the number we will write in the tens? If we will group the tens and the ones again? Yes, zero. And the seven ones will become what? Yes, it will become 17. Next, 42. There's four tens and two ones. In the tens, 
the number we will write should be 3 and the two ones will now become 12. That's all for now, children. I hope you learned from this video. Thank you for watching.